Gashof. Hier, weiter. Da kommt ein Kreisverkehr. Da fahren sie rein mhm. in Richtung Wittenberg. Da Bitte. fahren sie wieder aus dem Kreisverkehr linker Hand raus. Und da sehen sie rechts dann okay. die Gaststätte. Danke. I know it. I remember that place. Guest house. Last winter I played here. Right here. Enjoy what I do, and when I'm playing, sometimes tears come down my eyes. Cause thinking of the way back yonder days, how I struggle to get to where I'm at now, and I'm not quite there at the door yet. I'm not there yet, but someday I believe I'll get there. I keep on. A friend of mine told me, Red, just keep on playing. Well, someday somebody gonna like what you're doing. That's where you're gonna get your upliftment. It's gonna happen. I'm waiting for it. How old are you now? 71. Okay, same procedures every year? Same thing here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Devil's daughter. I said, I'm in love. Boy, you better be in love with that woman. My grandmother and grandpa said, Do I, you shouldn't order. 
I mean love With the devil's daughter I say I shouldn't I shouldn't order I'm in love I'm in love with the devil's daughter When I get the blues real deep It's hard to get me off of this guitar I liked Hot Sauce. And he said, I'm gonna name you Little Louisiana Red Hot Sauce. And he stuck with me ever since. Now, where is the dressing room? It's the longest way to the backstage. Yeah. <laughs> where is the dressing room? Go straight. Okay. Where's the dressing room? Cause the man gave me a little blue man. Where's the dressing room? <laughs> My boy, he wants me to come down to see him, but it's impossible. You see what I'm doing here? It's impossible to take off from my work, fly on over down to Montgomery, Alabama, and stay down there with my son, and he doesn't understand. I have to work, because over here in Deutschland, you have to work. Everybody works here. So I have to work. Now, Blue Man, you go in with me. Wolfgang gave you to me. I'm going to take you and put you on my desk. I may take you on the carriage. He'll love you. <laughs> There's a blue face in the window. Must be that little blue man out in the tree. But every morning when I get up, I go do my meditation. That little blue man is looking at me. And it's the same as you look at the little blue man in your soul. And from the soul into the mirror glass, you can't cheat yourself with a blue man. Or at the portholes of justice, you won't last. Yes. Come up. No, 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 the, you alone. Ah, okay. Can we stand up? Sure. Okay. Yes. Ah, <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bitte Name und Adresse. Mhm. Und Sie wollten ja eine Tasse Kaffee. Eine Tasse Kaffee. Less I'm a big celebrity like uh, 
Chuck Berry or something like that, where I can be more recognizable in the States or in my music. But uh, there, I couldn't make it like over here. That's why I came over here. Right. That's where I met my wife in Germany. And I um, listen to what she says and go by her instructions. This is my life style. I don't, I don't talk much. He talks a lot, so. Well, I had a record company in the States promise me that my next record is going to open the doors for me real wide. And I've never seen that yet. But I'm thankful to God that I'm where I am today. But I haven't got up to the uh, area, uh, to the uh, border of where I want to be. From my country, up I'm with you. I've lived in Hanover over 22 years now, and I didn't go back to the states because they didn't appreciate my music, and I didn't feel I was wanted. And I had a hard child life. And I grew up with hate. And after a while, that hate went away. I got into music. What I'm looking at is on the wall. Yeah, it's right here. Orange is a heavy baby. Let me sit on the stool here. Okay. It's strong enough. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah. Yeah. I like this very much. How much does this cost here? Uh, 444. No, I want that. You want every guitar. I want, I want that. That'll fit me just right. I want that one. Okay. Get the other guitar. And okay. You'll check it. Uh -huh. uh, we'll bring it here. Yeah, okay. Bring it okay. So the meantime, yeah. we'll have a look. Yeah, I'm looking at these fenders. Well, when I was a young boy, I took a cigar box, put three gum bands around it. I used to hold it up to my ear and get a different tune. Uh, this is high school. So, uh, no, it's, uh, That's how I started playing. One night, all out of the clear blue sky, it just came to me. A guitar can talk to you. It can speak with you. Yeah, this, this is good. This is very good to talk. How much was that one? Uh, 444. That's the one I take. I like, I like them all, all of them. But I like this amp. <laughs> That's good enough. That's good. Oh, I like, I need to get me some stands. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like them all, though. I want them all. <laughs> yeah. 
and a lead. The way bells ringing in Lee. Guitars and I'm a collector. And I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine downstairs, ten downstairs, eleven downstairs, eleven over here. And uh, in the States, are two, oh, two more in the States, twelve, thirteen. It's happening now. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the spirits out in the blue ethers, or oh, it was God, and I know it's God answering my prayers. My prayer is to be able to play my music and get to the top like I want to get, where I can go back down there in Mississippi and help all them children in that orphanage I come from. And I'm gonna be able to do that and to uh, build a blues town, blues city. That's my dream. You ready to seal this one up too? <laughs> Me, all I have to do when I go on a tour in the United States is carry one suitcase. One guitar, that's all I need. But my wife, three suitcases, same as Ghana, two, three or four suitcases. I saw my dad was, um, let's see, last year for the very first time in 30 years. And I found him through one of his CDs. It was called uh, The Different Shade of Red. And I got it and called Southern Records in Maryland. He said, you sure you Red Sun? I said, yes, I'm Louisiana Red Sun. He said, what is your name? I said, my name is Robert Lee Minter. He said, what is your father's real name? I said, his real name is Iverson Minter. He said, um, what is stage name? I said, Louisiana Red. He said, okay, you Red son. So he called my father on the phone. And about 10 minutes later, Mama Dora was calling, was saying, hello, Robert. This is, this is, um, um, Dora Minter, Red's wife, you know, your new mom. I said, oh, I'm pleased to meet you. And she said, hello, um, how you doing? I said, I'm doing fine. I said, I'm so excited. I told my wife, I said, oh, my dad is calling, my dad is calling. I was washing dishes and I almost dropped one of the plates in the sink and broke it, but I was so excited and I was real happy. And I broke down in tears. My dad said, oh, no, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. I began to share tears with him and he was sharing his tears with me. And um, 
He said, how you been doing? I, I'm doing all right. I wish we could go to the plane. God, get them coming off the plane, but it's not possible. Clearance, baggage, clean. Okay, here. Man, look at you, you look like old. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. How are you hey, doing, home plate? Yeah, man, I gotta have a drink. Hey, tonight. You gotta pay for dinner? Yeah, well, we're gonna see about that. I gotta get my, there's one right there, honey. That's one of your bags right yeah, there? That's one right there. The red one? The red one. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Hi. I don't know how many we got. I got, yeah. I got, I got. Look right, John. Look right. So you gonna help me, huh? This is my dad. That's Louisiana Red. Giant the Blues. Blues is my thing, man. Man, how long are you gonna be here with me? I ain't gonna be here for one day. Got to go. I can't be too good because I lose a lot of work over in Germany. I know, I know. Yeah. Look at me, I know. Uh -huh. I understand. I but when I you gonna come back? And, I know. When you gonna come back and spend time with me? Time. Well, I might skip Ghana and just come back here. Look at you got your hat on. Yeah. I like your hair because you know, I always mess with your hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your mama messed with my hair too much. She do. She do? Yeah. Do I look at anything like you? Look at the eyebrows. Do we look like? Wait a minute. We both wear glasses. <laughs> feminist and feminist. Put the luggage on there. Put my dad's luggage on the truck. That goes to daddy, for the baby. Yeah. You go to baby. Where? Back there behind you. Where? Back behind you, boss. Behind me where? Look to your other side. I mean the front door. Where where is she jump? They're gonna carry around here beside you, Dad. Where? Hey, this is Carrie? Oh, my God, my baby. My baby. Come on, come on, hurt, Grandma. Come on, who are you? Tracy. Tracy, come on. Grandson. That's all my grandson. I can't keep up with him, you know. He's, he's, he's over there and he's telling, I mean, I, you know, he wanted to take me with, with him when I was little. But my sure. grandma wouldn't let me take him. Well, take she me. wouldn't let me take him with me. Cleo wouldn't let me go. We wouldn't let him, let him go. He would have been riding around with me. Yeah, well. Yeah. Mm. I remember when you, you remember when I was little, mm. you what's called the major man, you used to get me yeah. and put me on your shoulder. Yeah. He's a very strong man. Mm -hmm. He put me on his shoulder and walked me all the way down the road. Mm -hmm. All the way down the street. Sure did. Yeah, a little ranch, a little ranch, not too much. We ask you, God, to help us with this food, God, that we eat it, God, that we nourish it of our souls and our body and our mind, that we eat it. Let it be precious to your will. And we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Let us say amen. amen. I got my own apartment at the age of 18. Then I went the other way. I joined the Muslim movement. So I was tired of being mistreated. Mm -hmm. I stayed in there for about around five years. And I went into the Black Panthers. Your daddy been into a whole lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, I see you have. Yeah. Then from there, I went right on to the military. Right in the army. Then I went to the paratroopers. You, you, on the board, when you pass the test of uh, the uh, tradition, you got a choice of what branch you want to go in. I chose the paratroopers, and that's why my hip is hurting me now. So you jumped out of the plane? That's right. <laughs> awesome, dude. I'm an ex-Green Beret. I can tear a whole city up. Just me by myself. Oh, man, come on. That's my mother was a very beautiful black woman. She had long, black, beautiful hair. 
and she loved the Lord, and she loved to sing praise songs. Well, I remember she had a little jealous streak. I played a gig, and this girl came sit on my lap. Somebody come back and told Elise about it. I had just had my car fixed, got it inspected. She took the axe and broke all my windows out, broke all my back glass out. And when I come up, the headlights out too. Yeah, and then she took my guitar and put it on the steps and split it in two. And I tacked it together with some tacks to make the next gig with. She had cancer of the liver. It's pretty. She just went home. I'm, she said, good night, I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. And she said, your yeah, grandma was saying, saying, good night. And the grandma said, and good morning over there. She died. Didn't you pick her up and walk around to the doctor's job? No, no, no. No, I didn't do that. I just and then look, I was just stunned. I couldn't move. Remember the one that mama used to sing? Ooh, way in the water. You remember you played the guitar like her, and I sung when I was a little. Way in the water. Come on down from the top of it. Way in the water. Way in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Look over yonder, look who I see. I thought I saw my mother, but I couldn't believe. But I looked around and seen it was her all right. And I said, Mama, Mama, can you see me now? She said, way in the water, way in the water, children, way in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Yeah, and the church went to rocking, wasn't it? Yeah, it sure did. I wish I had more time, though. What's wrong? I gotta cry, Dad. It's the only thing in me. I mean, if I don't do right, if I don't, if I don't cry, I won't, I won't feel happy. Well, I love you, Elise. Why are we down and dug your grave? Love you, Elise, darling. Why are we down and dug your grave? Live right and treat people right as well. I'm gonna join you in heaven someday. When my mom died, a part of him died. Because he. Because, uh. Because he loved her. And I loved her too more than anything. You know, we all did. And uh, I don't think he, he's not the fact he didn't, that he, you know, didn't care. He cared a whole lot. It just, when he left, a lot of people didn't do him right. That's the reason he left. He tried to work, he tried to work in the town and work and stuff, but that people didn't want to treat him right for his working. You know, he tried day and night playing gigs and clubs and stuff. It didn't work out. So he had to go. He dug the grave himself. I was there right there with him with a little bucket, picking the dirt up, doing what I could do to help 
We was together the same day when he was digging, and I was just little, and I was helping him. It was hard. It was a hard thing to do. Um, I think I was, uh, I think I was seven years old. I couldn't go. I know, it's okay. But you cared a lot about her. I know you did. Yeah, I did. That's why you, she was your heart. Man, I love you so much. Don't even let me talk. I can't retire yet. I got too much bills. As long as you know God will take care of them bills. Look at me. Huh? I told you, what, where's, yeah. your, where's your Bible at? In, in my suitcase. You got the Bible in the suitcase? Yeah, I got two Bibles in there. Okay. You don't need but one. What do you have to have two for? Well, one is in my pocket to read on the plane. On the little small one? Yeah. A little emotional. Excuse little me. Emotion. Sweet black angel, and I love the way she spreads her wings. Dora, give me one of those drops again, Dora, dear. Dora, but she spreads her wings. Dora, give me one of my drops again. What? I, I meant my, my drops. My throat lodges. Give me two of them. That's what I think I need. Did my angel ever quit me? I believe I lay down and die. Well, I was born originally in Bessemer, Alabama, but I moved around a lot. Chicago is where my music career started. I love Chicago, still love it. But I hated it one time because I never could make it there with my music. I mean, look where I'm at today. As for a bottle of liquor, he gave me a liquor seat. She gave me a whole liquor As her for a nickel And she gave me a ten dollar bill Chicago, I was about 16 then. R rough times back then. I was working in the day and playing at night, left me on the weekends. And I remember going to the Zanzibar. Muddy Waters was playing there that night. And I wanted to just sit there and watch, see how he did it. me up on the stage to do a number with him. My little heart jumped out of my chest into my mouth. I was so excited.
my life here. I don't care what Doris said, this is my life. This is the first one I had when I started playing the guitar. This is a Fender Esquire. This first one B.B. King had, too. Time I was going in the name of Rocky Fuller, not Louisiana Red. I wanted to get another identification to myself. I have been uh, Alabama Sam. I've been the, uh, Sugar Man George. I've been all those kind of names, but it's still me. But I'm still playing the way that I played then. Yeah, man. Man, this sound is man. Eight. 8,500. 8,500. <laughs> it's not too bad there. I like this, but I'm not going to pay no 35. 8,500. Eight, My wife would kill me. You read all in the news about it. <laughs> yeah. I want some finger picks. You got them? Um, the finger picks for the fingers? Yeah, I'll see if we have some. Yeah, I got to get some of them. Yeah. I may pick it up when I come back through again. I don't know. I'll get my agent to get it. <laughs> My blues beer. Oh, yeah, there it is. Blues oh. beer. Michael is my agent in Chicago and my, also my producer and manager. And I enjoy working with him. He produced both of my recent uh, CDs. Guys in Ohio that love blues decided to make a blues beer. And they came to see me a few years ago, see if I could help them break into the Chicago market by introducing them to a lot of bar owners. Yeah. But what they didn't realize is just how tight a market it is and how hard that is to do. Yeah. But they gave me a couple of free beer glasses. Yeah. Blues beer. Do you have an idea of the couple of songs you would like to do? Um, maybe something you haven't done before or haven't done in uh, many, many, you know, years. I know you make stuff up on the spot anyways. So maybe you'll make it up yeah. in the studio, yeah? That one last night. I got a pool shooting mama. Yeah. She don't do nothing but shoot pool all the time. But when she hit that eight ball, man, it goes on down to the pocket down the line. <laughs> I have to take a pool stick and throw it away where she can make love to me night and day. <laughs> I made that up in your car last night. I need headphones too. I need headphones too. Don't bring that double up. Okay. It don't matter. Well, you pick it up. All right. Talk to us with the guitar. Come on. Talk to us. Here we go. What's this called, Mike? Pool shooting, Mama. Pool shooting. Well, I liked it, but I think it still lacks a little bit of fire. You want fire? I think you're getting warmed up. Okay. Seen in this town. I was about around 16 when I recorded my first record, and it came out pretty good. But I didn't get nothing. I didn't know nothing about lawyers, and I couldn't make a living uh, working those clubs there. That's why. Last call for 
fast food. Food coupons, um, access passes, vehicle pass, t-shirt, but this one doesn't have the names of this year's performers. A lot of folk festivals have the performers' names on the back. Folk festivals these days have realized that blues is also folk music, whereas you know, it took a long time for folkies to sort of realize that the blues is a real folk music. Yes. Was you an orphan boy? Yeah, I'm from the orphanage. Oh, wow. I never had nobody really care about me. Yeah, that's, that's real tragedy. Did uh, you guys uh, travel in? Yes, yeah. we flew in, in Germany all of us. Oh, really? Yeah. So you guys been over in Germany? Is that where you're from? That's where I live in. Oh, really? Oh. But I'm from right in, in here in Chicago. Oh, yeah? OK, Dora, where can I change it? Right here, buddy. We got it. Yeah, nice uh, yeah. change of water. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Rad. <laughs> You got 25 minutes. Well, I think, I think they, and I don't know, but I think they consider that a really important slot to start the whole festival. You know, so I think, from a point of view of maximizing his his audience, that's a bad place to be. You know better would be in the middle of the afternoon or in the evening. Basically, it sucks. Uh, most, more, more so than not, yeah. <laughs> but I think the piece that uh, is kind of says it all is that Louisiana Red epitomizes the blues. And I'm just going to get out of the way and let him show you. Ladies and gentlemen, Louisiana Red. Then I saw lightning hop, Elmo Jane, Muddy Water standing there. What he said to me, said, Now, nah, son, keep the blues. Well, you ain't got nothing, nothing to lose. It was a dream. three million miles over here to do these concerts and I get no reception. I only wish that they could have understand where I was coming from. Up 
here they don't want me. Come on, hit highway 61. Chicago and Carrie, they didn't seem to listen to me. I'm a blues man, I come there. Boy, they made me feel misery. How you doing, Mr. Sam? Uh -huh. Come I'm on so glad in. to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm with the son of Robin Nighthawk. Yeah. Something I've been wanting to do for years. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is where I come from, right here. Yeah. Right yeah. Ten years old, I was out in that field with a sack. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yes, sir. Green guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. She out there gonna pick some cotton. Mm -hmm. She done got in my way. <laughs> Dora picking cotton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sam Carr is, is the son of Robert Nighthawk, who was one of my main influences on the slide guitar. No. <laughs> Musicians, most of musicians, they are like babies. See, they don't care when they are in the music, they don't care. So I don't listen to those. I just want to make sure everything is all right. And I don't listen to oh, blah, 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 talking. It doesn't mean anything. And he doesn't mean it, you know. When he talks a lot and angry, and he, I know he doesn't mean it. He's just a loving person. He's a nice man, kind-hearted man, you know. So that's the side I see of him. The other, I just ignore it <laughs> and look at the good side of him. That's all. Ignore it. You don't know what to 
this mean to me to play with this? Yeah. I got to find one the same weight, the same style. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to get it. No, it ain't going to be hard to get Oh, I may find one on my junk. Find me enough. Yeah. You know. I got a piece, but I think it's too small for you, Frank. What one? I got a piece of uh, brass pipe. Junk. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? That don't mean it's brass. Right. Huh? It's brass, sorry. This is a water pipe. It is brass? It is. This is one I want, I want to get one like that, a water pipe. That just be this one. I want to get it about like this. It might be in there. I, man, I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? That's a, that's a coffin. Coffee ground. Ah. <laughs> you think I'm dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Put your coffee in. Grind your coffee away. Grind them up. I need to shine this up. It's too big for your finger, though. No, no. It's just right. See where it sits on that right? So, where you need to cut off that? Right like his was. Not that short. Right. Okay. Dora, no, I'm home here. Please you leave me alone. You didn't tell me you had a car up. My dad was killed down here in Mississippi. You got three of them in here. I didn't see that one. Yeah. People of Mississippi. I'll never forget it in my life. See, um, my father was Lynch. Out of KKK. Yeah. In 1933. Right after born. Before I was born. Before you born? They brought the body to the house. And I looked down and said, Grandmama's. I'm, I'm, I'm 57. Yeah. I'm born in 46. My mother died when I was seven days old. My grandmother, she hated me. Her name was Julia Minter. And she hated me because she said I was the death of a daughter at birth. And my mother died seven days after I was born, she was following her father's funeral hearse, funeral cortege to the graveyard. And she caught low blood pneumonia and fell and died. I've never seen my mother. I hope someday to get the picture of her. My father, he was lynched, killed by the Quick Quick Lanes when I was five years old. So I had a hard child life, put it like that. When my mama's living, I never had a hungry day. You know, I guess the screaming hollering. I miss it. My mama passed away. Wine bottle in my pocket. Try to help me every day. I get so disgusted. Wanna blow my life away when mama was living. So it's the last street in the French Okay, thank you. So down to the church, then turn left. It's where you come. It's right there. It's right here. She says right here. I don't see nothing. Said down by the church, one block over, so it must be down here. I don't know what he's looking for. This is it. This is it. Red, this is it. I 
I need something to draw luck. I need a lodestone. Hmm? Lodestone. Oh. You want some lodestone? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. So what's your name? My name is Louisiana Red. My real name is Iverson Minter. So, wow. Do you know how to use it? Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm looking for. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can even get on the scissors. It's, it's hot. Mm -hmm. a man in New York owes me a lot of money. Every time I call him, he's never either home or he's never there. And when I call him, he say, I don't have it. He said, I'm tired of that. I said, well, when I go to Louisiana, I'm going to do something about it. So you write your name and your telephone on one side and his name on the other side. And then you pass it through the incense, through the burning, and then through the candle flame a little bit. And, and praying the 130 sons that he get control over his mind and he call you. All right. I'm getting tired of this traveling. I'm getting tired to do this concerts. I will go home. You won't hear Red no more. He's retired. And I mean retired. I can quit when I get ready. I'm real well known in Europe. But in my country, nothing. That's why I stayed over in Europe 22, it'll be 22 years pretty soon. Really? I live in Germany. Yeah, if I want a German passport tomorrow, I can get it in five minutes. No. I started to do that, you know. I said, they treat me so bad in my own country. I said, what the hell I got to go back there for? Now, the next from Germany, it's going to be Ghana, Africa. Then I done hung it up then. I'm not going to kill myself out here in this music. I'm not going to do that. Frankfurt. 
Germany is my kingdom. What I mean by kingdom? I've been there 22 years, pretty soon, and the German audience appreciate what I'm giving them more. Well, I'm sitting here in a far and distant land. Nobody to help me. Nobody to give me a hand. Far away from my country. Brought by me to me. Well, now. I was nobody's child. Okay. Einen wahren Giganten des Blues haben wir heute Abend in der Petruskirche in Lichterfelde. Er sitzt hinten in der Sakristei. Da ist er vor einer Stunde etwa reingegangen und da war die Kirche noch leer. Wenn er jetzt rauskommt, dann bin ich gespannt auf sein Gesicht. Die Petruskirche in Lichterfelde, so weit draußen, wer wird denn da schon kommen zu so einem Konzert? Und die Kirche ist wirklich gut gefüllt. Und jetzt wird es Zeit, dass wir ihn rauslocken. Er kommt, wenn er uns hört. Nehmt mal kräftig beide Hände. Und jetzt brauchen wir den Applaus. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I can't speak Dutch, although I've been here for a while, but we're going to say it couldn't have been Madam Manhattan. It's been Louisiana Red. It's Bridgen Blues for Z out of Mississippi. Is that all right? Train. Train. Don't you take me When I'm with my band in Finland, I do like this. She's so pretty. I said, if she got a big head, Alabama train. I 
Alabama train Won't you take me home Take me home again Take me home again Take me home, 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 home. Please take me home again